if you're interested in adding detail and relief to stone foundations, then this episode's for you. This is a continuation of the project I've been working on, which is Clever Models O-Scale Wood Nice House. I felt page six, which is the foundation walls, would be a good example of how we could add detailing to stone walls. So that I can add details to the foundation walls, I've gone ahead and made two copies. One will be the structure itself, and the other copy will be cutting out stones, which will add relief to the foundation walls. The next step is to score all the corners and the tabs, then cut out all the pieces. Pretty simple. Now we're ready to detail the walls. And let me show you what I've done. Okay, taking a look as I've cut from the extra page six, I've cut out the wall um, panels themselves, the matching wall panels. Okay, and I kept them matched. And they're both the same, as you can see the patterns. So now I'm going to take one of these sets and put them aside. So I'm going to try a new technique. And this is what I have left to work with. What I plan to do is to go through and cut all the panels out and set the pieces aside. And looking at this, I'm going to uh, tear into it still a uh, cutaway, as you can see, cut away the mortar on the top row because we don't need that. And also make sure you start this with a sharp blade. Makes a big difference. Now these small stones I'm not going to bother with. If you want to do that, if you want to um, apply that much detail yourself, go for it. Now, the next process is to get our <clears throat> Tombow. I use is the Tombow N65. It has felt tips on both sides and it's a flared tip here and this is uh, great for covering the edges as well as it's I found it's nice if you want to put you know heighten or put any accents on that it it looks pretty realistic doing something like that I'm going to try to line these up to the side um, where they might be going on the wall. Totally getting rid of any the larger pieces, the mortar. Because that will give you relief as well as makes it easier to pasting in the uh, fitting the accent stones on on the base wall itself and each of these keep in mind will be uh, coloring the edges with a gray This right here is uh, interesting. You see the mortar sort of changes from white to um, this, this grayer mortar. Why that is, I don't know. Uh, it's just uh, the designer's choice in creating this thing. So what I'm going to do is take some uh, creative liberty and eliminate these grayed mortised areas. 
So then the next thing I'm going to do is also, uh, since these are all together, it makes it easier to highlight. And believe me, having a sharp blade makes it, there's a good likelihood, with a little bit of pressure, that you can uh, cut these with one pass. You can see how our pieces of our wall are winding up. Just as a gut feel, it seems to be going better. It seems to be going faster. So continue to cut away the mortar from each stone in the wall. And after that, color the edges with a gray marker. Next, apply a few drops of glue as needed. I really like using the Elmer's in this needle nose squeeze bottle. Then position the stone insert in place. After that, I use a paper towel to absorb excess glue and apply pressure to the stone, and sometimes reposition the stone on the base wall. And this shows the effect of just one stone on the wall. I hope uh, taking these extra minutes would give you an idea of into my mind's eye of some of the problem solving techniques I'm always trying to do to make the mouse trap more effective and to catch bigger mice. Uh, now that we've detailed the foundation walls, let's take a look. Here's the two sets of walls and I'll just lift this up so you get an idea of the relief that, that we've created So hopefully the last few minutes have given you another idea of how you can add detailing to your building. Now let's take a look on the building itself. So here you can see the, the foundation walls, how we've detailed the ice doors. We've added lap siding and trim, as well as in the printing technique, we've printed on a uh, painted information as well as, I'll call it decal logo itself of Mail Pouch Tobacco. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate all your comments and feedback and look for your ideas about future segments. See you then.